Imagine living in medieval France. You live in the mountains and it's in the snowy winter. One day you're wandering around the mountains when you stumble upon a dead body. You call over your friend Derlib, a dirty clever swindler. You and Derlib go through the man's things to find unknown treasures of golden daggers, jewels, and a mysterious stone and letter. You quickly slip the stone into your pocket and open the letter. It's in an unknown language but somehow you can read it. As you read it, the man simply disappears into the snow. This is the stunning beginning of the story of Grimpal, The Invisible Road by Raphael Abalos. The story brings Grimpal from the mountains to an abbey, to Italy, and through countless dangers and battles. The story of the dead man unravels as the secrets of the Knights Templar and the behind-the-scenes story of Paris' blueprint. Through it all, all of the fights, arrows, swords, and adventure, Grimpal seems intent on just one thing throughout the whole story, and that was to repay the dead man back for the strange stone that the man had given him during his death. The stone was a magical stone from the Knights Templar, and it passed on to Grimpal the power that the knight had possessed before his passing. Before his discovery, Grimpal was just an introvert, shy, quiet kid. After finding the stone, he turned into a confident, brave young man. On page 8 of the book, it reads that Grandpa was amazed at his own self-confidence. He never stood up for himself so strongly before. Above all the adventure, mystery, and excitement that filled Grandpa's journey, he seemed intent on just repaying what the knight had given him, the powers within the stone. I hope you aren't thinking about keeping all of this, he said. Instead of feeling excited, Grandpa was disturbed. These were the most precious jewels he had ever laid eyes on. Yet something felt wrong. It's like an expensive gift. Imagine you've just turned 17 and completed your driving test and received your license. Your dad surprises you with a state the art Ferrari. Its gleaming red frame and shining tires amaze you, but something nags at your mind. You cannot fully appreciate the car because you worry about how much it costs your dad, how much it would cost to get a repair, or how it could get stolen or damaged. Sometimes gifts are too good and you cannot fully appreciate them. That seems to be the case for Grandpa as he said that he couldn't accept the gifts of the treasures alone. He felt in debt to the night. The main idea of this book seems to be that sometimes gifts are too good and that sometimes you have to repay them.